So sleep changes are very common in older people. It takes longer to fall asleep, you wake up more often. But in dementia, this is worsened because the body clock in the brain is actually affected by dementia. So you can get people waking up at three o'clock in the morning and thinking it's time to get up and, and go to work. You can get people napping a lot during the day and then sleeping very little during the night. Dementia really does affect our day-night rhythm, our circadian rhythm. And if you're not sleeping well, you can become much more muddled and confused during the day. Sleep changes cause a lot of stress for carers and can be a big reason for people moving into residential care. So what you see with people with dementia is the waking up often during the night, not wanting to go back to sleep. The napping during the day can be difficult because an older person then doesn't sleep as much at night. Sometimes the rhythm of day-night is broken and people sleep only during the day and are wide awake at night. Certainly environmental uh, factors play a part, so if it's noisy or too cold or too hot or too bright, that can all lead to worsening of sleep disorders. When it gets dark, the brain secretes melatonin. This is the body's natural way of putting you to sleep. If there are harsh bright lights or a blue screen, this inhibits the release of melatonin and so makes you stay awake. There are a number of other factors that can contribute to poor sleep. Pain clearly can mean someone doesn't sleep well, but depression, anxiety and also illness can do this. There can be medications that can keep a person awake and of course having a cup of coffee late in the day may also affect sleep. Factors that do contribute to poor sleep include having to get up during the night to pass urine. If you're getting up more than twice a night, it will really break your sleep up. If you have leg cramps at night, this can really affect sleep significantly. And if you're put in a situation where you don't have your usual ritual for going to sleep, such as in hospital, this also causes problems. In residential care and indeed in hospital, the different environment, the noise, the different staffing can all have a real effect on a person's sleep. Having a full night's sleep is really important for our general health. If you're sleeping poorly, if you're sleep deprived, you're more likely to develop heart disease and also conditions like depression. A good sleep routine is really important for healthy sleep. So a warm drink before going to bed, perhaps a warm bath, a comfortable bed, not too hot, not too cold, and having dim light and no noise. At Dementia Support Australia, we help you understand the changes in behaviour that may be impacted by things such as pain, the environment, communication and approach, and the importance of knowing the person that you provide care for. There is a unique story and experience behind every behaviour. Every person with dementia is unique and individual, and we tailor our support to meet their needs.